the bank offers us many services. And like Mr. Frank Adams, most of us use the bank. Thing, the bank is a good place to keep money. And here is Mr. Adams filling out a deposit slip. He lists cash and checks separately. The total, $62.53, is the amount he is going to deposit in his savings account. He takes the cash, the check, the deposit slip, and his bank book to the teller at the savings window. The teller places the bank book in an adding recording machine. Into the bank book, she punches the amount of his deposit and the new balance, which is the total amount that Mr. Adams now has in his savings account. There's the amount of the deposit, $62.53. The pages of the bank book show the record of Mr. Adams' savings account. Eight years ago, one March, he made his first deposit of $50. As he made regular deposits from his earnings, his balance grew. But his balance actually became greater than the sum of all his deposits. For, at the end of each six months interest period, the bank added interest to his balance, which therefore kept on growing. The teller puts Mr. Adams' deposit slip with other deposit slips in this basket. These slips are a record of the money that has come into the bank. And up here, they're checked in the proving machine. The bank's careful methods give Mr. Adams confidence that his savings are secure. And so does the federal government's insurance guarantee. Some of the money of the depositors is kept behind the great door of this vault. Part of the money that comes into a bank is kept in cash, but the rest of it must be put to work to earn a profit for the bank. And so, the bank invests much of its money. According to law, these investments must be safe investments, such as government bonds, municipal bonds, and mortgages. The bank also invests its customers.